Hi all, welcome. In this video we will see how to visit a web page uh, uh, in Cypress uh, using cy.visit command and uh, how we can configure um, a base URL uh, in um, uh, Cypress config.js file. So once you provide the base URL we no need to provide uh, the entire domain name uh, in uh, uh, cy.visit command uh, when accessing the web pages so in this video we will see how we can uh, uh, configure uh, the base url and how we can visit the web pages in cypress so when we create a, a cypress project using npm install cypress and um, after that uh, once we add a script uh, cypress uh, browser so here i have configured a cy uh, open uh, as a cypress open so if i run npm run cy colon open so it will open um, uh, cypress okay so we are uh, writing end to end uh, tests here so and it will prompt for uh, browsers uh, so which browser uh, on which browser we need to run and uh, for now I'm uh, choosing the Chrome browser so once we start it so it will display the web pages um, uh, and uh, in the web page it will display the JS files that we have written here so in specs so I have created one here with a um, uh, visit iPhone web page cy.js so if you click uh, it will start running um, uh, that spec file here okay so by default here um, uh, https example.cypress.io is configured okay and if you see here uh, it is a uh, https example.cypress.io but uh, uh in 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 my example uh, i'm going to uh show i'm going to show you uh, a different website uh for that uh, i'm going to search orange hrm so if you see if you search for orange hrm And you will get uh, this uh, URL so open source demo orange hrm live.com so I'm going to copy this URL and then uh, I'm going to replace this uh, website URL with uh, the URL that that we are going to work with okay so once I replace the URL if you see the tests are automatically executing and then if I move to the uh, Cypress runner, uh, you will see the page uh, got opened automatically. So if I click uh, again, so this browser got opened. Okay. So to configure a uh, uh, base URL, so if you take the base URL of this uh, application uh, up to this one, so up to dot com and uh, if you go to uh, cypress.config.js there you will see uh, e2e uh, property inside e2e property you can use uh, base url and then you can configure our website uh, uh, base url okay once you copied and it uh, once you save that file okay uh, as we have changed uh, uh, the, the settings in um, uh, cypress.config.js so it is going to uh, reopen our uh, cypress runner and if you click on it again you will see the same page um, got opened again but if you observe it we are not appending uh, the uh, entire URL uh, where, uh, here so the base url is configured here and uh, after whatever there is in base url 
so we are uh, using that as um, the website URL here okay so let's write uh, uh, some more uh, tests here uh, to prove that so so when I am see uh, here they have provided um, a username and a password to log into this view this website so the username is admin password is admin123 so if you if I log in here so it will come to uh, this page uh, web index.php dashboard index okay so say suppose uh, if I try to access this URL directly okay uh, what it should do uh, it should uh, redirect to the login page so my test case will be should redirect to login page okay and then what I am doing is cy.visit I am using I am using this dashboard URL so when I visit this URL what should happen is like my URL should contain cy.url to get the URL uh, what what is uh, visible on the web browser uh, we need to use a, a URL method and it should contain there is a contain uh, and the should method there is a contains is there so it should navigate to login page so what what it should contain uh, it should contain the login page and if you see if I log out again here so it has a login uh, uh, text also let's verify whether the login text is will be present um, or not okay so what I will do is cy dot contains uh, I will verify for login text so once I save this uh, text you will see it will start uh, automatically and uh, you'll see the browser uh, uh, Cypress test runner also executed automatically. I'm uh, rerunning it again. So the first one is executed, and the second one is also uh, executed. If you see, uh, both both test cases are passed. So if I go through here, so I'm accessing. Uh, if you see the URL bar on top, uh, first I'm accessing uh, dashboard.index so it is redirected to login page and expected is login so you will see so it's redirected to login page okay so let's write another uh, uh, test case uh, where uh, it should navigate to dashboard page okay so what i'm So I'm accessing the visit and then um, to log into this website we need to provide uh, the username and password okay so if you inspect this uh, and for the username uh, for the text box uh, uh, you'll see the name is username and for the password uh, the attribute name is uh, password here okay so i'm going to access uh, these two elements uh, uh, using uh, uh, html attributes okay so for that um, what i'm going cy dot get and then in curly braces name is equal to username and then i am clearing uh, if there is any text and then i am typing it using a type command uh, what i need to type is admin in the similar way i need to enter the password so for getting the password as we have seen already so i am getting a um, uh, element uh, based on the attribute name which is a password and then um, first I am uh, clearing the text box if there is anything and then I'm typing it so the password will be 
as we have shown it is admin one two three okay so after entering a, a username and password so we need to click on a login button or as it is a form we can what we can do is we can uh, submit the form okay so what we can do to uh, submit the form is best approach is cy dot and then we can see here we can find the form element and then we can submit it okay so let's inspect the for form element if you see in the entire page uh, you will see the form uh, here so okay the form element will be there okay html form element okay so you can only uh, submit you can only use the submit command uh, on the forms okay so you cannot uh, uh, on a button you cannot um, uh, use the submit okay if it is a form then only you can use the submit button so once it is uh, click on submit then we need to verify uh, for let, let's verify for a url okay so once we access the url and then it should contain the dashboard uh, url after successing so this is the dashboard url that we have copied before and we can add it and we can verify it okay so i have saved the file and the tests are started executing but we will run it uh, one more time see here uh, the tests are failing uh, what is wrong here P, uh, so if you see a is missed so pass password and uh, yeah if you see it is typing and then it is submitted and we got the dashboard page so if you revisit it uh, so we are visiting uh, a website page and then uh, uh, we got uh, a username uh, text field and then we are uh, uh, typing typing the username admin and then we got a password uh, element and then we are typing a password admin 123 and then we submitted the form okay uh, so after submitting the form it is uh, redirected to dashboard page and um, we, we can see the url uh, with the dashboard url so in this way uh, we can write um, a basic tests and we can visit the web pages uh, uh, of the application and we can configure the uh, base url for um, application okay thank you